Remember Berry. Okay, thank oh. you, Chair. Um, I second the motion from Labour, um, and uh, I, I thoroughly support it. I mean, it says we must reject the shallow populist rhetoric of those encouraging Londoners to vote for Brexit, and I, I couldn't agree with that more. We heard UKIP earlier saying that during the hustings uh, for the mayor election, uh, housing and immigration came up a lot. Well, they did, because every single time somebody asked about housing, UKIP talked about immigration and tried to link those two issues in a way that I think is really shallow and divisive and populist. So I very much support staying in the European Union and, and us voting to urge Londoners to vote to remain as well. Um, earlier in the questions, it, it was asked by one of the Conservative members um, whether you know, we could not enact the same protections for workers' rights for the environment if we, had, if we just decided on our own. Um, and I think, you know, given my experience as uh, recently as a road campaigner, the changes that the government made to the national policy statement for national networks, the planning document that governs road building, they removed every single... Um, thing that they could, every single protection that communities could invoke to stop big roads being built through their areas, except the ones that have come from the environmental protections in EU directives. And so you can still argue against big roads on the grounds of air pollution, on the grounds of environmental destruction. Um, but all the other things have been removed by this government, and I think we'd be in terrible trouble if we relied on them to protect our air pollution and our workers' rights. Um, in this country. Um, I also wanted to highlight that it's not only for environmental and, and wider economic reasons that we want to stay in. We have the City of London here in London and financial and banking good practice is also at risk. I released a report last week showing how leaving the EU could mean an end to the banker's bonus cap. Uh, the UK government has consistently lobbied against this in Brussels um, and it seems very, very unlikely that they would enact it themselves. Um, we do need to make these decisions at the right level and it's ideal to make decisions such as uh, banking regulation in Europe because otherwise the biggest of the big multinational companies will use their size to play countries off against each other. Um, I finally wanted to make a point about um, family life and the value of the European uh, citizens living in London as our friends, our loved ones and our family. Um, analysis by the Office, Office of National Statistics has found that 100,000 officially recorded couples in London, that's one in ten of our couples, um, involve a relationship between a British national and someone of another EU nationality. And at the moment, non-EU nationals who want to remain in the UK must earn at least £35,000 or be refused the right to settle. And, and no one can tell you this requirement would not be applied to these couples um, existing in London and force them to make really difficult decisions if we were to leave the EU. So, yeah, I support the motion. I think everyone here should be voting to urge all Londoners to stay in the EU. Thank you. Thank you very much.